So, welcome to my program. Uh, this is the Mastermind scoring program, which uh, is run on a HP 15C calculator. And um, what it does is scoring digits when we compare uh, the guesses with the stored numbers that the calculator generates. Uh, we run into analyzing data dependencies. So here we see a guess digit, uh, a guess word with three digits, uh, numbers 1, 0, 1, 2 and the secret number 012. We compare them, so we have to make digit by digit pairwise uh, nine comparisons. In fact, in the diagonal we compare the digits on which are on the same place in the guess as in the secret number. And this we have to do first uh, before we do any other uh, comparisons. So here you see data dependencies indicating that we should do the thing the arrow comes from before we do the thing the arrow goes to. So we translate down this data dependencies to an algorithm which takes uh, all the pairwise comparisons in a certain order. So here we do ABC along the diagonal before we do any non-diagonally um, comparisons of digits. So afterwards we do DEF GHI. There are many more orders that we can execute the pairwise comparisons in. Uh, but we took the one uh, indicated here. So let's start the program. Um, we uh, have a label A, and that's the label of the program. So we start it this way, and then we say we want one digit. The calculator is generating a secret digit from 1 to 1, so obviously it's 1. We guess that, and indeed the first digit after the comma indicates the number of digits in the right place between guess and secret, which is 1. The second digit indicates the displaced uh, digits, but there are none. Let's now uh, take a two-digit number. So each digit can be between 1 and n again, n is 2, so it can be maybe 1, 1. We run this and we see we, see we have one digit in the right place. So uh, guess 1 and a 2. Um, these are both on the wrong place, so it must be 2, 1, which is our third guess, 3. Uh, and indeed here we see that we have two digits in the right place. This is then finished for the two digits one. We will now put a non-zero in the display, which uh, means then we can go to the debug mode. We go to NS3, so we ask the calculator to generate a number uh, with three digits. And we guess 111. We see there is one in the right place, so there is just one one in the three digit word. We see that uh, here, the before the comma, the digits uh, of the column and the row are uh, displayed, so this way you can follow in debug mode what happens. We guess 1, 2, 2. Uh, we have actually two digits in the right place now, so the one we already knew, but maybe the second or the third two is also correctly placed. Say the second, uh, we assume the second is okay, then we do a guess 1, 2, 3. And along the diagonals already here we know that um, we have three digits in the right place. So the secret was one, two, three, as you see here, in three turns. So let's now uh, go for a six um, digit number in the debug mode to see the indicious cycling. Uh, so here we uh, make a certain guess for say one, one, two, two, three, three for the six digit words. And then we run the program. We see the diagonal 11223344556 is cycled through, and we have one correct number or digit at least uh, on this diagonal. And now, of course, it will cycle through 36, 6 times 6 indices. Uh, this is along the uh, scheme that we have uh, down here, but then instead of 3 times 3, it's uh, 6 times 6. So this takes a bit uh, more time. So we have one correct digit in the right place and three in the wrong place. So let's see. Let's maybe cheat a bit and recall the register numbers in one and two. We as uh, the programmer know of course where it is. Stored the secret number. So Actually, we recall the secret number to be 126313. 
So let's guess that. One, two, six, three, one, one. And let's see that indeed along the diagonal we see that we have every digit correct. So obviously, since we cheated a bit, we can see that nothing changed anymore, of course, because once the digits of the guess are totally matched with the digits of the secret number, uh, we of course don't have anything to check anymore. But still in the debug mode we show all the indices that are checked so that you can appreciate that all 36 of them are cycled through. And so in two times we guessed the right number. Six digits are correct. That was a demo of our program.